coming back to you guys again with another video. This is gonna be my Sunday night Q&A for Instagram. And I thought, you know what? Why not just do it in my natural environment? You guys know the drill. 10 questions, mainly for my Instagram. So, we're gonna get to the Instagram questions. And I'm gonna try to do this awkwardly in my spin room without anybody coming in, but who cares? All right, so the first one's gonna be coming from that sort of artist who says, do you place any blame on your anorexia for any current problem in your life? I don't really like to place blame on anything. Um, I would say the only thing that I would think of right now that I place blame on, and I'm really, really slow, I have a pretty bad attention disorder, and um, the anorexia, the starvation, malnutrition, only really made it worse. So that's pretty much what comes to mind. The next one's gonna be coming from Capital C01 who says, with regards to your major, why did you choose to do communications? Now this is great because it's not actually somebody asking me what my actual major is, so props to you. I was originally a business major, but I decided mainly because I wanted to take over the family business, but I decided that I wanted to make my own way. And to me, communications is pretty much a business degree without an actual business degree. So it's like the closest thing to it. And I can actually, and communications is pretty much a people-based field and I like being around people. I sell bikes all day. The next one's gonna be coming from Hanan Marie who says, you said before your diet is plant-based, but you aren't vegan. Do you hope to become a vegan one day in your future or stick to a plant-based diet? So awesome question here. Right now, I'm enjoying the way I'm doing things. I like the foods that I eat. I'm happy with what I'm eating. Uh, I think if I were to make that official change over to veganism, it would be it would be one I'd have to really think about. I'd have to get a little bit more meticulous with what I take in on a daily basis in terms of ingredients, in terms of checking labels. And you guys know how I feel about rigidity. You guys know my past. You guys know my stance of what I think of veganism and think of the whole movement. I'm doing more and more research and more and more reading on what's and more reading on what's ethical, what's not ethical. And uh, overall, I'm developing a better mindset with it. So I feel like eventually later on down the road, I probably will. The next one's from Oliver Wyndham who says, do you have a picture from when you were biggest muscles? I'll put that on the screen right here. I was about 230 pounds in that picture, fully bolt. And uh, that was when I was at my biggest, I would say, now this was when I was at, now this was when I was 16, around 16 here, and I was actually obese. So those ones were when I was at my biggest. So the next one's from Dalton 117 who asks, what is your opinion on drugs and alcohol? Do you currently use or have used in the past? Thanks Eric, keep making sweet videos. Now I've pretty much revealed my stance on alcohol and everything like that. I don't, I currently don't take any drugs and don't believe in drug use. I think marijuana has its place. Now I'm pretty neutral on the drug debate. I think it's all individual. I think if somebody has an addiction, I think if somebody has a, a tendency to develop addiction issues, I don't think that drugs or alcohol really should have their place in their life. Um, overall, I think it can spiral out of control just like food can, just like exercise can, just like gambling can, just like even shopping can. I think it's really worth it to take everything in moderation and to uh, have a balanced relationship with those things. I don't have anything against, I don't have anything against people that decide to drink alcohol on occasion. I do see a problem with needing to rely on alcohol to have a good time. Drugs, it's the same thing. From the start of your end to the end, did you get taller in any way or did it stunt your growth? That's from EE Man 9 I never really saw a growth change. If anything, my hormones just suffered. At the lowest, I had my testosterone levels checked. My doctor revealed to me that they were the lowest he's ever seen from a guy my age. I had the, I had the testosterone levels of an eight-year-old man in his words, so. But overall, my height never really suffered. Uh, the next one's gonna be from Timur997, who says, do you prefer powerlifting over a normal hypertrophy? If yes, then why? I prefer powerlifting for a lot of things, really, but the main things that come to mind are the metabolic advantages, benefits to it. There are benefits to both, but I feel like with powerlifting, I'm stimulating more muscle groups. I'm heading in the gym, and I really only have to focus on either bench, squat, deadlift, overhead press, and just meeting a set number. With bodybuilding, you can get a little bit more technical. Um, 
and I just really don't have all that time to spend. I mean, I can knock out a full powerlifting session, hit the big three, do a full body movement, do a full body exercise, do a full body session, and be done 45 minutes to an hour. Whereas with bodybuilding, in the past, I would spend three to four hours in the gym. Just not optimal, in my opinion, for me at least. All right. Next one's gonna be from Kate Oliveri, 12. Any tips for people who are interested in beginning cycling? How far should they ride at first and how and when to start progressing with distance intensity? Um, beginner tips for me would be to get a bike that you're not gonna feel limited with. That means don't spend the bare minimum for your first bike. Uh, second tip would be don't set a mileage indicator, go by time. Third tip would be to start gradually and work your way up from there. Fourth tip, find the steepest hill by your house. Go up, go down. Go up, go down. Go up and go down. Repeat three or four times a week. Add your own pace, of course. Become a better cyclist. All right, the next one is gonna be from Elizabeth Gutierrez. It says, what's the maximum you've ever spent on a food challenge? Um, shout out to 48,000 calories in 48 hours, well over $200. And this one's going to be coming from the celiac foodie who says, what motivates you on the days you're really not wanting to work out? That's the thing guys, training should always be used, and I've said this a lot, should always be used to enhance your life, never to take away from your life. So if you're feeling tired, listen to your body. You should want to go to the gym, you should want to train, you should want to get stronger. Never ever ever feel like you have to force yourself into the gym to a point where you have to loathe training and lifting and everything like that. This should be used to benefit your life. Alrighty guys, so that's it for the q and I did a little bit more than 10 this week, but wanted to answer some Instagram questions for you guys. If you haven't already, do me a favor, follow my social media. The information will be up on the screen right there. And of course guys, don't forget to give this video a like, comment, Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And leave questions below. I'm gonna actually do a YouTube Q&A soon with a bunch of random questions from these videos. And be sure to stay tuned for the challenge that's coming up next week. I got something special in store for you guys. Thanks again for watching, guys. And stay tuned for the challenge. See you later.